What's up Castle Clash? This is Hirsch here and I've got another video for you. This time I'm rolling 20k gems on another member's account. Take a look at that up there top right of the screen. She's got 20k gems ready to go for me and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I've never rolled this many gems on another person's account before. I've definitely rolled on other people's accounts before, but usually it's just like 20 bucks or so. Definitely not 100 bucks. And so I'm real stoked to see how well this goes. And um, I'm real honored that she trusts me enough to be able to log onto her account and roll $100 worth of gems. That's just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Anyways, um, so while I'm here, I thought I'd uh, go ahead and take a quick look at her account and see what we've got going on uh, as it is. Um, so first thing I noticed is she's got an awesome lineup out there. She's got Reaper, she's got uh, Thunder God, um, Druid's already out there. So this is, this is good stuff that I'm seeing here so far. Um, I'm curious about Spirit Mage. Let's, let's take a look. And see um, where Spirit Mage is. Ooh, there it is, Guildhall. Like I said, this is the first time I've logged on to this account, so it's definitely new to me. Um, or maybe how far away from Spirit Mage we are. I don't know how to tell that. Where, where? What happened to Spirit Mage? Ah, I don't know where to find that anymore. Maybe am I just blind or something? I, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, get to rolling. Um, or we can uh, play around with the count first. I'm not sure what uh, what we want to do. Um, I've got about 30 minutes that I can play around with this account, though. So, we'll go ahead and figure something out. Let's start it off by doing Here Be Monsters. Um, take a look at that. And uh, I can talk about the base while we're doing that. Um, first thing I see is the three arrow towers. Um, they're all pimped up, so that's awesome. Uh, and then there's a cannon tower. I uh, think I've said this in a previous video is that I've never really been a fan of the cannon tower simply because it can't touch airborne troops. And airborne troops tend to be the largest problem within Here Be Monsters in, in this game. Um, just because they're always the first ones coming in, you can see there they go right there, um, already heading in to take out that that uh, tower. And uh, the first thing you really want to do is take down the airborne troops. And uh, the quicker you can get them down, the less of a chance you have of the enemy heroes in Here Be Monsters coming in and taking out or, and targeting your heroes. So that's something you really need to watch out for. Um, this setup it looks plenty good for E, and we've got level 80 to about 100 heroes. Um, 95 looks like the highest that's out there right now. So, I mean, this is definitely a good setup for farming E. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, she's got Reaper out there and Thunder God. Those are the two big ones. Hopefully we can get a Pumpkin Duke. Um, if this account doesn't have a Pumpkin Duke yet, that's what the ultimate goal is for this rolling right now is getting a Pumpkin Duke and getting it celebrated up as high as possible, as quick as possible. And so that's, I think that's going to be my first goal uh, with these gems, is to try and get that Pumpkin Duke, because that would be such a huge help. Um, there we go, just past wave E2, and into E3. So now they're going to be coming straight into the base, um, targeting the towers. Um, another thing I might do, and this is probably just personal preference, is I might switch the gold vaults and the towers positions. Um, just because that would allow the towers to stay alive just that little bit longer. Um, instead of targeting the towers, they'd be targeting the the uh, gold vaults. But, uh, the, I mean, if you can farm E with this, then you can definitely farm E with it. There's really no worries to or no need to change anything. So, um, I mean, E is a great spot to be. Uh, if you can bump it up to G, then that's even better. Um, but I think you really need a higher town hall to be able to do that. I don't like that Snowzilla just popped out there. You know, he's about to spend half this fight not in it because he was able to jump over the walls there. There you can see, uh, he, he, didn't even, he didn't even participate in half that fight. 
which isn't a really good thing but I mean like I said if you're already farming E then you really have nothing to worry about here we go last one with Dino let's see how it does Reapers just going at it already that's good just watch them suck up those troops I love it there's Thunder God's proc saving the day boom Nothing is more beautiful of a sight than watching Thunder God proc right on top of everybody. Yeah, this is this is great. Awesome for E. Um, when you're ready to take that step up, it, it's really, it looks like you've already got your town hall going. Um, hi, thanks. Uh, I'll take a look at that later. Um, also, while I'm here, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Stolen Fire here. This is Regina's guild. Regina's been the guild leader here for quite some time. Um, I remember back when Regina was just starting out with her guild and uh, she was asking a lot of questions and being super, super active, super um, engaged within the guild leaders chat rooms, within the community online chat and uh, was always asking a million questions and always being so helpful and uh, very, very well um in the communication process within the guild leaders and that has been huge for me and has really made me want to be able to help her out and um, watch her grow and I mean just take a look at this 48 members out of 65 um, very very strong guild uh, you saw some huge donations going on up there on that first page look take a look at that 12k 10k 10k you know th this is great stuff and um, rank number 15 guild and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with what you've done. And I would highly recommend this guild to um, anybody. You know, maybe I should not be saying this because uh, you're going to be on my guild's back here soon. <laughs> but I, I got to support the little guy too. and uh, Or not so little guy now. Alright, so I guess uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some rolls. Um, you've got some good heroes. Uh, let's see if we can't get you... There's Spirit Mage. Why was I missing Spirit Mage? Why did I not see Spirit Mage? Am I just blind? I must have just been blind. I'm sorry, guys. I'm smoking. I don't know what, but I am. Uh, or not. No, I don't smoke. Don't don't listen to that. That was a joke. That was a bad joke. Um, I would use Spirit Mage out in Here Be Monsters and probably in place of Succubus. But just like I've been saying this whole time, if you're already farming what you want to farm, then... To, doesn't really make much of a difference. Let's hit some gem rolls. How much room do we have? Quite a bit of room. That is beautiful. I love seeing that. Love it, love it, love it. Boom. See what we can get. If we can get anything good, switch it up a little bit. Fill up the first one, and then we'll go feed probably Thunder God or Spirit Mage. Lots of blue, lots of blue. That's all right. We've got plenty of gems to roll. Let's take a look at some of where these guys are all at. So we really want to get Druid up to being able to heal all five heroes. So I'm going to consume some there, but before we do that, let's take a look at other places. Looks like she's really close to getting him up. Um, so Champion's cool, but he doesn't extend his coma time, and he doesn't raise the, the amount of targets up either. So really... Um, you know, once we get him up to four of nine, he's probably best to just stay there because all it does is increase the damage. Uh, and unless you're pretty high up in arena, that's not going to be too helpful. Thunder God's awesome, four of nine. That's a good spot for now. Um, Spirit Mage, four of nine, good spot for now. So yeah, I think right now, so far, I'm wanting to, yep, four of nine. I'm wanting to uh, target that Druid first, get the Druid able to heal everybody, and then we will worry about where we're going to send it next after that. Um, so one thing I typically do is I take a look at the heroes before I consume them simply because if they have a 5 of 5 talent, it'll help you with, or like 4 or 5 heavy blow right there. Boom. <laughs> Definitely worth looking at. A Believe it or not, a um, executioner with 4 or 5 heavy blow can be huge on the T3 boss permastun if you don't have the the ideal conditions just yet, you know, if you don't have the uh, seven of nine pumpkin duke with the 
um, four or five plus berserk champion and anybody with a, a heavy blow or that you know and this guy right here can be your heavy blow for that team even and um, the fact that he also inflicts a coma when he procs just huge i've seen executioner in fact i'm doing a video tonight i believe that has i think they have an executioner in their team you'll you'll take a look at it i'm doing a all um all heavy blow perma stun team um yeah so let's go ahead and consume all the rest of them I'm not bothering to look at them um just because we've got so many rolling to do tonight that uh, it would just take forever otherwise and there we go let's hit some more and then uh i think after this one there's a druid nice oh man look at that lanacor and succubus that's awesome <laughs> i think after this we're gonna go take a look at um oops i didn't mean to we're gonna go take a look at uh some talent rolls and maybe we'll roll a couple talents let's take a look at these guys first Drew to Scorch, Tenacity, and Scorch again. Why is Scorch even a talent? That is something I've never been sure of. All right, that's awesome, though. Got some good stuff there. Consume, yes. One more of those, consume. And let's head down the line. Um, I'm not going to consume any legendary heroes for you. In fact, I'm going to lock them right now so that I don't accidentally do it. I'm going to let you decide if you want to consume legendary heroes or use them to bring up your might. Um, a lot of people have different opinions on that, and so I don't want to force my opinion on you. So there we go. And last one. All right. So now I think one of the biggest helps in talent roles in this game is the champion getting either 4-5 or five revite or the high level of berserk um, Simply because what you can do with the champion on boss when it has a high level of revite or a um, high level of berserk. Oh my, right there. That could be super helpful. I'm going to stick with that. Um, reason that can be super helpful is because if you can get that proc off or that uh, heavy blow to hit first thing in a boss fight, you know, drop, drop Druid at a distance and then drop champion close by and if that heavy blow kicks in that's that's two and a half seconds that your guys have to just wail on him and hopefully you'll be able to get um get a, a proc off from his uh, three second stun and then you're just golden i mean from there you can do some pretty serious damage with that i'm gonna stick with that for a moment and uh let's take a look at at uh, spirit mage here um, maybe give it a try, one or two rolls, see what happens. Ooh, ooh. I, I'm going to take this over revive. Sorry. Let's see if we can get something better. Yeah, let's stick with that. Um, Thunder God. 5-5 five, five, self-destruct. Self-destruct is amazing, but it doesn't help much anymore ever since that update a while back. I'm not sure if I want to re-roll that, though, just because it's a 5-5. Five, five, that's, that's a scary thing to do. That's a scary thing to do. Let's go keep going. We want a Pumpkin Duke is what we want. There's two more. There's another Lanacor. Oh, man, lots of purple coming up, but not seeing that Pumpkin Duke I'm looking for. Let's go check out what we got. Deadly Strike. This ninja has 3-5 slowdown. That could be interesting. Uh, Revite. Nothing nothing crazy going on over there, though. Nothing good. Nothing worth speaking about. Let's see. Where are we on these guys? So close. Let's go ahead and knock all these guys down. Oh, I need to go lock the, lock, lock the legendaries so I don't consume them. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lots of legendaries coming in with this roll. This is beautiful. I'm, I'm kind of jealous right now. There we go. Four or five. Now your druid will be able to heal all five of your heroes in Here Be Monsters, in dungeon runs, in raids. This is huge. That's a big, big step right there. And honestly, most of the best players leave their druid at this point right there. They don't bother going any higher than that simply because it that's that's all you need. That's all you need. 
um, work on everybody else until um, they're all in their sweet spots and then come back. But until then, this is this is beautiful. Let's see what else we got. Got a, got some gems worth some more rolls. We still want that pumpkin duke. Come on, pumpkin duke. I'm seeing purple. Purple scaring me, but it's not happening. Come on. Oh. All right, who do we want to feed next? Spirit Mage. If we had Pumpkin Duke, this would all be going to Pumpkin Duke. I think I saw somebody that was close to being full up. Was it? Yeah, let's go ahead and top him off. Just because we don't want to waste the... Uh, there we go. We don't want to waste all that experience that's sitting in there. Uh ready to go. So see all that did was it brought it up to 200% damage. So this is this is actually I believe this is where my uh, champion is sitting is right here at 200% damage. So that's awesome. That's a good step. Um, where's Atlanta Core? 3 of 9, 3.5 seconds. Not a very good talent. Not sure about that. Succubus, 4 of 9. Do we have, looks like you're working on your Reaper. So let's go ahead and feed your Reaper. And here we go. All right, a couple more here. Come on, Pumpkin Duke. There's another Atlanticore. Man, why am I getting so many Atlanticores? Atlanticores must love you. What's this one have? Maybe he has an awesome talent. Nope. No luck there. Oh, man, your Atlanticore, if you feed all those Atlanticores to this Atlanticore, he's going to get some, get some awesome... Uh, jumps up in experience for his talent that's going to be pretty cool and there we go oh do what do i do do i keep rolling I, we got to get that pumpkin duke we got to i think pumpkin duke is more important than talent rerolls at this point let's get pumpkin duke and then we'll worry about talent rolls after that so i'm just going to at this point i'm just going to consume and consume and consume and keep going for that pumpkin duke because he is the game changer. I, if you don't know how big of a game changer Pumpkin Duke... Another Atlanticore! Oh my! Wow! <laughs> what is up with this? What is that? Four, four Atlanticores I've rolled so far. Oh man, and so many with Scorch. I'm not liking that. Jeez. Come on, if I could roll Pumpkin Dukes like that, I would be getting people asking me to roll for them all day long. You know what's funny, though? Is yesterday when I did my $100 gem rolls, I rolled all of three legendaries in total. You know, all, all the rest after that were um, blue heroes and slimes. And so this is, this is kind of cool that I'm getting you so many... Getting you so many, what do I need? Another thousand. One more hundred. And then he's up. And we're running out of gems. This is the last 450 roll right here. Oh, no Pumpkin Duke. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to consume the one more hundred we need to get him to four of nine. And then I'm going to leave you all these guys to consume however you want or to use or to, you know, do whatever you want with. That 4-5 heavy blow could come in real big handy. I recommend you hang on to that. Um, kind of jealous of it, actually, a little bit. Uh, and I know that people have used an executioner with a high talent. That's kind of cool, 3-5 berserk. Um, on T3 boss with success. So that might be something you want to think about. Um, definitely if you're wanting to, to use a heavy blow team, uh, keep him. Because I noticed you have a few other heavy blows. Um, who else had it? I don't, I don't remember. I thought I remembered seeing a couple more heavy blows when I was looking at your stuff. And um, what that can do is drop a ranged target like your Druid or Spirit Mage, and then drop everybody else in between. And he will, um, all these guys with Heavy Blow will stun the boss, um, probably not every time, but at least once in every like three attempts on the boss. And that'll give you just more time to just wail on him with your DPS heroes. And that's really going to be extremely helpful. All right, guys, um, I think that's 
about it. I mean, I don't have any more gems to roll. Um, we did, we did a here be monsters. Let me switch up. Let me find that spirit mage that I was looking for, and let's go do a dungeon run and see where we're at in dungeons. Who would I want to switch? Probably succubus. Let's get let's get spirit mage out there. And um, got thunder god. Yeah, if we had Pumpkin Duke or Cupid, that's that's who would go in the Snowzilla spot. Um, let's go ahead and go. Where are we at? Dungeon 4, it looks like. Um, I don't know if we're farming this or if we're just able to hit it, but let's go give it a try and see what happens. I love this dungeon. This is my dungeon where if I'm really busy and I don't have time to even drop magic and my dungeons are completely full, then I will just drop my heroes right here and let them run through. And, oh, that's interesting. You have a protection flag. Hmm. And uh, I will let my guys just run through here. And it's extremely helpful and that they can just go through it without having to worry about them dying or anything of the sorts. Here comes that assassin. That's... The only character in this entire dungeon that I'm worried about is that assassin. So let's see if they can not even worry about it. Holy crap. Very good. This is awesome. You should be able to farm this all day long, probably without even using magic. And that's brilliant. You know, if you can do this without using magic like this right here, I would almost recommend that you go ahead and try and take the jump up to the 16 shard dungeon in dungeon 5. And there's 10 shards for you. That's awesome. So that was that was kind of cool. I noticed you had the protection flags for your guild, uh, level three protection flags. This is something that I've never bought. Well, I mean, we have bought them for my guild, but we don't use them very often because most of people at my level don't use um, troops. And I rarely ever use troops, actually. In fact, I can't even really remember the last time I built troops outside of just doing uh, Here Be Monsters and I'm going to shove a whole bunch of guys out there just to try and see if they can slow them down and it really made no difference. So yeah, that was it. But that's cool. You've got protection flags and uh, that's I guess that's another perk for your guild. Um, you've got the protection flags. You've got the, the uh, bonus flag. That 25% is huge. That's the same percentage I have, I think, or do I have 30%? I don't even remember now. I think we have 30% now, or 25%. Somewhere around there. Either way, that's good. I I recommend this guild, guys. If you are not in a guild, and you're looking for a guild that is high up there in the ranking system, but maybe not top 10, maybe you're not quite ready for top 10 yet, this is probably the guild for you. And uh, I'm going to say that, and I'm going to be confident in saying that. There you go. I wonder where they're at as far as 15 for donations, 63 for might. And so, yeah, cool. Thank you so much, Regina, for letting me uh, play on your account. And uh, I, I appreciate it. I definitely do. Um, I've always enjoyed playing on other people's accounts and seeing what they can do. Um, I've always enjoyed, um, you know, being able to help people out and show them my way of playing. And so this is kind of a win-win for both of us, I think, in that uh, I get to get your name out there, and at the same time I get to play on your account and see what you can do and learn a few things, because that's really what this is about, is learning. And every time I jump on somebody else's account, I learn something new. And uh, I, I'm i excited for it. Um, I'm excited for every time somebody asks me to jump on their account and play. I I want to do it. And uh, guys, like I said, I'm getting a lot of requests for it recently. So I'm trying to do everybody. Um, but uh, if I don't respond right off the bat, don't uh, don't freak out. I'm not ignoring you. Um, oh, that's interesting. I'm looking at my main account on my tablet and. Uh, Somebody named San725 is messaging me. I hope that's not you, San7. I don't think it is. Looks like a hacker. I wish I could show you guys right now. Maybe he's not a hacker. He's got a pumpkin duke, though. That's interesting. Hmm. Should I answer him? No, probably not. I don't want to 
I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, guys, like I said, I, I try to check all my messages I ever get, but I get overrun with messages sometimes. So uh, please, please don't take it personal if I don't hit you back right away or at all or whatever. <laughs> I will try to keep up, though. I, I am trying very hard. I, I, uh, yeah, oh, we need to get some heals from that Snowzilla. That's going to be bad if we lose him right away. Hopefully we can uh, get something going there. Here comes Panda. The world of Cash Clash was recently overrun with Pandas. When we all got the bonus Panda. And all of a sudden, thousands of Pandas were unleashed upon the world. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> Ignore me, please. Please, don't watch me. Ignore this. Uh, Alright. And four. They're all going to come straight into the center there, probably targeting that uh, cannon tower. Assassin's gone. I wonder if this account can do it without garrisons. Um, that might be something to look into, maybe try out. Um, if you haven't, you should, probably should. Um, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do E without garrisons. Um, garrisons really don't help all that much unless you're on the verge. You know, if you're on the verge of being able to win uh, uh, the next level, then yeah, garrisons will help you out a lot. But once you're steady within a level, Garrisons really don't do much, and so you're just kind of spreading around it, uh, experience when it's not necessary. Look at that. Reaper just cleans house. Spirit Mage is out there. That's looking good. 30 shards for your guild. Awesome. Well, like I said, thank you so much, Regina, for letting me play on your account. Guys, this is her in-game name is Lundorth. If you don't know her, you should. If you are already in a guild, it doesn't matter. She's an awesome player. She's on line chat. Um, her name in line chat is Regina. I'm not sure on her line ID. Um, but uh, I'm sure if you just messaged her in game, she would be more than willing to get in contact with you and tell you how to get up on line chat. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll show you one more time all the legendary heroes we got for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legendary heroes for you, Miss Regina. I know you just said you're dying. It's over. It's been 30 minutes. Wow. All right, guys, I'm off. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Yeah, you 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 shouldn't be nervous. You did fine. <laughs>